Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a different video. This one today, we're gonna discuss the Atlas and the Atlas Cross Sport. A lot of people don't realize that there's a difference, especially when they come into the dealership, they ask to dr drive an Atlas and they go, wait a minute, I thought it was smaller than this. This is huge. Or uh, they come in looking for a Sport, but they want three rows. So it happens. I get it, it's confusing. Atlas crossboard and then on the left here, Atlas right here, full full size Atlas. So we're gonna start with this guy right here. Both are exactly equipped exactly the same, just they're the different models. This guy right here on the right, Atlas SE Tech V6, front wheel drive, has a panoramic sunroof, sunroof and it has the same uh, same exterior color as this crossboard, which is SE Tech V6 with a panoramic sunroof. So all we're going to see different here is the space and the sloping back here and the raked roof or the raked rear window right there. Different wheels on them, but they're based, they're on the same platform. They're both Atlases, but that is an Atlas crossboard and it only has two rows of seats. So closer look here. This is a three row version here. Keyless entry on all four doors, 20 inch silver alloy wheels, LED headlights, running lights, turn signals and reverse lights. This aggressive chin on the front right here, trimmed out in silver, three rib design there. From the front, these cars will look exactly the same. The roof rails are going to be different. Roof rails on the Atlas full size has space in between them there. They're trimmed out in black. The panoramic sunroof is up there as well. Any crossbars you put on here, your payload on the crossbars will clear the sunroof. There's a look at those alloy wheels. Black cladding down at the base. Bowl line down the side comes from the headlights over the wheel arches, under the door handles, into the tail lights. Silver window sill right here. Black rubber up here on the top. Body colored mirror caps as well. Black cladding continues on the back of the bumper here. These faux exhaust tips here and over here. 5,000 pound, pound tow hitch is right here with the seven pin adapter included. And then of course it says Atlas right here in silver across the back below the VW logo. SEV6 off to the left right here. No badge on the right unless you get all wheel drive. It'll be a four motion badge over there. There's a look at your tail lights right there. Rear wiper on the back. More of a squared off design on this one here. And as we open it up, we're going to do a quick overview inside. I'll do individual videos of these later. Door inset right here, wood grain right here, flat silver finish, arm pad trimmed out in gray. Anytime you get black leatherette, you're going to get gray insets on the door with the contrast stitch. Memory seat, I'm sorry, not a memory seat, power lumbar here, forward back up and down here, seat back adjust here. Nice uh, contrast stitch, stitches on the bolsters and also the headrest. Arm pad in the middle, open it up, there's a USB-C in there. Uh, down here, here's the shifter, push button start, electronic e-brake right there, wireless charging pad right there, two backlit USB-Cs, dual zone climate zone up front, actually tri-zone climate control I should say, dual up front and you can control the back. There's a look at your radio, AM, FM and satellite as we climb in. Automatic headlights here with a coin box, leather wrap flat bottom steering wheel with the Volkswagen logo right there in the center, splash of silver right here, flat silver finish and then piano black down here that radio has a backup camera on it as well with trajectory steering turn the wheel left or right just like that storage bin right up here on top and gesture control on the radio just like that this particular one has an auto dimming home link mirror power sunshade light gray headliner here sunshade reveals that giant panoramic sunroof and pushing this button here that pane of glass stacks on top of that one. Pop-up windscreen right here. Big giant panoramic sunroof. Passenger side seat. Door inset is the same over here. It is manual with the loop right here. You do have a handle right here to adjust the seat back pitch, but you cannot raise or lower the seat. In the glove box, these are going to look the same as well. Manuals here. Seat belt, uh, seat belt clip protectors there and your war tire warranty there. There's more of that wood grain there. Let's take a look at the back seats. I'm moving quick on this because I don't have enough time, recording time, if I don't. $45,042 is the price on this one. $395 for the red paint color. 
1200 bucks for a sunroof 365 for the auto dimming mirror 327 uh is added for um the uh let's see here 327 is added for the auto dimming mirror i'm missing this trunk liner cargo blocks all these extras right here um that's the monster mats and then 170 for trailer hitch extras luggage net for 110 and roadside assistance kit for 90 bucks 12.95 destination brings you to 45042 there's a look at the bench seat that's back here in the back now here's the difference between the cross sport and the full-size atlas both have a bench seat this one you can upgrade to captain's chairs however car seat hookups there car seat hookups here and car seat hookups here if you go with the cross sport you lose the center car seat hookups just the two outboard seats will have it. You still keep a fold down armrest right here with a cup holder in the middle. And if you go with this car over the cross board, you have vents back here. You have climate control back here that you can to control. And then you have two uh, USB-C connections here and a, a three prong plug in right here. So you can see that right there. But if you go with the cross board, you lose climate control back here. This is just a storage cubby here, but you keep this guy and the vents here. As we climb in the back here, magazine pocket or, or map pocket right here and also over here. The seats are nice and comfortable. You do have leg room here. The seat does slide forward and back in a sliding bench fashion right here. Uh, here's a look up at the front and the giant panoramic sunroof. Sunshades are also built into the two rear windows here. Both doors have it. There's a look at those wheels up close and you get a power lift gate for the back a third row of seat to have seats are back here as well and these seats will fold flat just with the flick of a wrist here with this guy you have velcro straps to pull them back up seat belt clips over here 12 volt charger port here c pillar vents for the rear passengers in the third row more storage here and here and then this one has the monster mats tow hitch cover uh, roadside assistance kit cargo blocks and underneath the floor here underneath this carpet lift up there's your spare tire underneath that guy there you remove that guy unscrew it the carpet floor right there and you have your uh spare tire there there's a look at that one so moving on this guy over here same car just as a cross sport 5.3 inches shorter keyless entry on all four doors cross sport flare right here on the quarter panel Different 20 inch alloy wheel here, still trimmed out in silver. This, the uh, uh, underneath here is all black at the base. Same aggressive front end on the chin here. Looks the same on the front end as that one did, except the roof rails are now flush with the roof of the car. No gaps. And they're trimmed out in silver. As you come around to this side, same 20 inch wheels, keyless entry, cross sports flare there. And below the cladding is still trimmed down in black just like it is on the full size silver window sills here rubber gaskets at the top or seals at the top but there is a silver roof rail there and there's also a slope and a taper to the rear on the back fast back or slope back right here different tail lights on the back more cladding back here still faux exhaust tips on the back trimmed out in chrome but they look different 5,000 pound tow hitch there seven pin adapter included as well also says atlas below the vw logo here tail lights are different different shape slope back on the windshield let's take a look at the inside of this one there's that cross sport flare right there door panel here different wood grain pattern here still trimmed out in silver this one's going to beep at me because it's off it's out of gas so i'll close the door here quickly but there's your door inset right there same lumbar power lumbar right here forward back seat back adjust same bolsters here contrast stitch same up here on the headrest and as we climb in this one digital cockpit i didn't go over the digital cockpit in that one but they both have the same digital cockpit here leather wrap steering wheel flat silver finish uh and then a splash of piano black here automatic headlights over here and a coin box for storage as well so up front this is going to feel exactly the same Auto dimming home link mirrors in this one as well. Storage bin right here, that same AM FM radio with satellite, and it has a backup camera. The backup camera does have, I'm gonna start it up for a second here so we can turn the steering wheel here. Trajectory steering, just like it did in the other one. 
down here shifter e-brake all of this is going to look the same there's your park pilot sensor right there the key fobs even are the same on both cars so you're not going to tell the difference there you get this key here and you get one fancier or bougie one that's all trimmed out in chrome at the base and the top is a little bit heavier as well there's that wood grain there's the glove box there same seat belt clips manuals there a dark headliner here it's black instead of light gray hides the same panoramic sunroof this guy opens up just like it did in the other one pop-up windscreen right there so i'm going to turn the engine off again just so i don't run this car out of gas it just came off the truck over here the manual seat same setup here loop right here over on this side though here's a difference you can adjust the seat back with this handle you do have a handle here to raise and lower the seat in a pumping fashion there's a look at your door inset over there lots of storage armrest same setup here with the usb-c here two usb-c's here wireless charging here as well power lift gate button on the door for both of these and as i open up the back here before we climb in 44303 for this one 395 extra for the paint 1200 bucks for that panoramic sunroof 385 for the auto dimming home link mirror 278 for the monster mats and heavy duty trunk liner 170 for the trailer hitch extras 110 for the luggage net 90 bucks for the roadside assistance kit 1295 in destination bringing you 44303 whoops and it helps to unlock all of the doors here's that bench again like i was talking about before car seat hookups there no car seat hookups here and also car seat hookup right here here in the back magazine pocket here also the vents here no climate control right here uh then you have uh the usb c's here and a three-prong plug-in right here there's a look up from the back to the front the giant panoramic sunroof again now these seats do not slide forward or back they just they just are where they are now you can also pull the handle over here on the side and recline the seat i have a ridiculous amount of leg room back here but almost six maybe seven inches of knee space here like a king cab pickup truck or quad cab pickup i have the same fold down armrest in the middle there's that plastic again right there that's how you know it's a new car and there's your squishy yet firm uh cup holder right there an armrest there's a look over the back there you see the slope back these seats back here set a little lower than they do up front to accommodate for the sloping roof there are no uh, uh sun shades back here for the rear passengers unless you go to the sel premium r-line trim there's a look at your wheel there it's a 20 inch wheel and as we come around at the back still says sev6 on the left absence of the four motion over here because this is front wheel drive tow hitch right there with the 10 seven pin adapter still included 5,000 pounds of towing still says atlas below the nameplate here now in the back here those seats will fold flat as well they fold lower they are actually lower than the floor here when they're folded flat but you have cargo space all the way up to the back of the two front seats rubber mat kit here roadside assistance kit travel except or travel uh tow hitch accessories bag tow hitch cover tow hitch uh, bracket or uh, ball right there and cargo blocks there recessed trunk light here it's carved down on each side here 12 volt charger port right here incandescent lights on both sides bag hook here and a bag hook here lots of space back here you're not losing space back here so i'm going to try something different here i'm going to pause this for a second and set up my tape measure and i'll be right back okay so there's my tape measure right there you can see it comes up to 44 inches right there that's me touching the back of that seat now those seats do have a tilt so where i'm touching at the back is a little further in than the top part there but it's about 44 inches deep on cargo there so there is quite a bit of space back here a lot of space so this car will come with the power lift gate as well just like the other one did there's a look at it right there and this guy over here we're going to open up the hatch here and see the back Keep in mind, each of these cars comes with a four-year, 50,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. That includes two years of free maintenance. So your 10, 20, and 30,000-mile oil changes are all covered. Again, I'm going to pause the video, set out the tape measure. I'll be right back.